Hello my friends. In this exercise we're gonna draw the shear and moment diagrams for this beam. So we start our solution by selecting axis. So we have uh, 0 and we have uh, 10 and we have 20. Okay. 0, 10 and 20. And for the direction we have just zero. We have single element, just one beam. So we start drawing from this end to the other end. Okay. After that we assign as we did in the previous videos, we assign supports. We have here hinged and here roller. So from here in and roller here after that uh, sorry you have also here concentrated moment at point D that that is far away from point A by a distance of 15 so we add another axis uh, 15 Add it, then apply. Okay. Now we assign loads. The first load we have is 600 pounds. That means 0.6 kips. So from uh, here we add load types. Okay. Now we assign loads from here. The first load is 0.6 minus 0.6 applied at 0.5 of bar length. It's relative. We add it. Sorry. We have a mistake here. Loads. Load table. Um, delete everything. And again go to bar and make this one as zero okay now we add the second type of load which is four and we make this one as zero and we apply it at a distance of 15 and it's absolute and from uh, we add it and then select this bar then close it Revised loads. We have two loads. Okay. The first one is 0.6 and the second one is 4. That's correct. Now we start analyzing. After that, we go to results. Diagram for bars. Parameters. Text. Differentiated. Field. NTM. First of all, we check FY for uh, FZ forces, then apply. Okay, so this is the shear force. As it's shown here. We have here 100 and here minus 500 so from here we have minus 0.5 and here 0.1 and that's the same okay now we check the moments my then apply as you see here we have uh, two 0.5 and 1.5 here and our results are 2.5 that is positive and this one which is 1 uh, and uh, positive and this one minus 1.5 that is negative and as you see there is no difference between our, our values and the calculated ones in your textbook the only difference is the 
units used. We can also change the units from tools and uh, units and formats. Okay? So this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, just write it in the comments below. Bye.